I love summer in it, but I like winter clothes. It's a it? one-way dancer quick. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, one-way? Yeah, one oh. yeah. My fault, my fault. <laughs> <laughs> I remember signing it. My mum was like, Cam, the game started. So I'm you're so, signing series, right? Bro, you lost your mind. I've turned, I've turned around now. The game started. I've sprinted up. Bulls come to me first touch, banged it, bins, bro. Mm, <laughs> simple as that. Yeah, like, so yeah. as a Christian, the best advice I've been given personally was from my mum. It was um, for you to throw away God's gift, do you know what I'm saying? So like, don't stop. Like, God's giving you this talent, this gift. So just keep going. Motivationally, we're always telling each other, just keep going. Mm -hmm. like, you never know what's on the other side of the barrier, other side of the door. So mm -hmm. like, why stop now when you know you could be so close to your greatness or your success? So. What's good, Kang? Gang! We're back with another video. Today's a special video because we've got a special guest. Cardiff City star boy, the one and only Cameron Antti. Well, here's a strike on goal, and what a strike it is. Cameron and we take a bow. The midfielder also came on for his first team debut in the FA Cup against Sheffield Wednesday. So, we're just going to get straight into it. We'll start off with some uh, quick fire questions, mate. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I'll be all right. Not yeah? too bad, isn't it? That's, yeah. So, first one. Yeah. Summer or winter? I love summer, innit? But I like winter clothes, It's innit? a one-way dancer, quick. Yeah, yeah. Oh, one-way? Yeah, one-way, yeah. My fault, my fault. Summer, 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 okay, summer, cool. summer, summer. Biggest phobia? Failure. Failure? Yeah. Mm. Deeper. Yeah, I deeper. Like ones, huh? Watch it. Or oh, Kenke? Watch it still. Watch it? Yeah, What's watch it? It's like rice and beans, isn't it, bro? Oh, what time Kenke? Is? Kenke is like hard food, isn't it? Okay, hard food. Like 50 kind of yeah, 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 I'm yeah, about yeah. watching, man. Goal or assist? Goal. You're midfielder, no? Yeah, but I'm, Goal I'm a GSM, isn't it? Goal scorer, yeah. midfielder. Yeah. <laughs> Young thug or destroy lonely? Oh, that's wild. Yeah? Destroy lonely, destroy lonely. Yeah. Drake or Kendrick? Drake. Straight up. That's a good question, bro. Drake, yeah. you, You've been keeping up with it? I don't actually listen to any of them. No. Yet. All none of the diss tracks still. Mm. Ghana or Germany? <laughs> Germany still. Germany? Yeah, Germany. Bro. Messi or Ronaldo? Ronaldo. Yeah. Would you rather go out and party or stay in? <laughs> or stay in and watch a film? Can I explain though? Yeah, of course. Alright, cool. We'll see Love and Night or the, the boys and that. Yeah. <laughs> Little cheeky one, eh? Yeah. 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 Now and then, but I can't lie, a night in still, you know what I'm saying? Night in. Movies, Cozy get, thing. Some, get some food with the missus. You know mm. With the missus, yeah? Yeah. What's so you are uh, off the market, just for those, that obviously they're going to be asking, do you know what I mean? Snap out now on all digital platforms. <laughs> <laughs> What's your thoughts on like toxic masculinity? Snap out now on all digital platforms, bruv. <laughs> no, good one, good one, good one. Off the market, off the market. Off the market, okay, test. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holiday destination. Um, but dream, like dream. Yeah, dream holiday destination. Japan. Japan, Japan, Tokyo, yeah. Never been. Never been to Japan, yeah. I've been actually. I'm fine. Is it? Yeah, yeah you're capping. Next question, man. Whisper and say, we're going all the way. Tonight, take me to the other side. Sparks for the night of both of July. I put the camera, I put the picture right there, all there. Yeah, you go cool. outside the temple, the tomb, the all them. Yeah, the, the, yeah. Japan, Tokyo, yeah, temple. Yeah. Whatever it was. I lost your mind. <laughs> okay, last question. Mm. Three people you would have your last meal with. Could be celebrities, could be me. Do you know what I mean? Anyone? My mum, my dad and my brother. I like that. Yeah. Yes. And I was expecting like a, I don't know, like... No, okay, cool. No family then, I'll yeah, pick. No um, <laughs> <laughs> LeBron James. Okay. Mm, I'll go Mesut Ozil and Destroy Lonely. <laughs> You'll bring Destroy Lonely yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. So what? Mesut Ozil. Yeah. LeBron, LeBron James and Destroy, and Destroy Lonely. Lonely. <laughs> okay, <thanks. laughs> What a table? What are you, you guys eating? I'm a pasta man, you know. Pasta. pasta freak, so I can't lie. I'm a pasta. Pasta freak? I'm a freak. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, what do you think uh, of Loughborough though? Decent, isn't it? Yeah, it's not too nice campus. Yeah, nice campus, bro. What was you like uh, school? Do you like school? I want to say I was a troublesome kid, didn't it? I was more just the funny, the funny one. 
Yeah. Like make a lot of jokes oh. that will get me in trouble. But yeah, I'll just say I was, I was likable. Yeah. Very likable in school. And your favourite favourite subject? Probably music. You know? Music. Yeah, I like the music. Funny enough, we got we got a track on the. Yeah, we you in the studio. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can just get away and like play keyboard and that. I learned how to play piano as well. Yeah. So yeah, I enjoyed music when I can't lie. So if you weren't a footballer, what would you want to be? I ain't gonna answer for that question, yeah, but you don't it'd, know. It'd be musician still. Yeah. I tried to do the rapping thing. So what was it like? High school was it? Cause I went to school with Liverpool and that. Yeah, it was a mix with the with the club and that. Yeah. So obviously I went to like a school with um combined with Fulham. Yeah. I was at Fulham, Queen Boys. So yeah. yeah we go training and that basically every day. Yeah. So yeah, we was like all together all the time. Like yeah. we had a big group. So yeah, it was good, man. I can't, I can't lie, enjoy school, man. Okay. Back on the topic of football. Yeah. yeah. What's your earliest memory of playing football? I was when I was at Epsom Eagles, Sunday league, innit? Yeah. Remember? What like, position? Left winger. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you out of it? Uh, bro, I was... You, yeah. you, you know, bro. Flurry, innit? Okay. Like, I lost it when I got to like 1920. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, like I remember at a tournament. Yeah. I remember I scored like six, seven goals, eight goals. We're in the final now, innit? Yeah. Remember, I'm starting on the left wing, innit? So okay. I'm, I'm by the parents, now, okay. the fans. Yeah, yeah. Remember, some parent touched me, innit? So like, turn around, he's like, had his book in it. It's like, signature, signature. You always say? See, back then, I'm a kid, innit? So okay. I, just, I just put CA. CA. You know I'm saying? Yeah. I remember signing it. My mom was like, Cam, the game started. So, so you're so, signing series, right? Bro, lost your mind. I've turned, I've turned around now. The game started. I've sprinted up. Bulls come to me first touch, bang that bins, bro. Mm, <laughs> simple as that. Yeah, like, so simple as that. It's my best memory still from a kid. Next. So was that eventually how you got paid off for Fulham? Yeah, so I got scouted by Fulham from Epsom Eagles, innit? Okay. I think I got scouted. I got scouted by a few clubs at the time, but then basically just in short, Fulham was the closest club to me, like okay. where I lived, 50 minutes where'd you, away. Where'd you grow up? At uh, Mitcham. Mitcham. So yeah, I grew okay. up in Mitcham, South London. Training ground was like 50 minutes away from Mitcham, so okay. we, we picked Fulham and yeah, man, I was there ever since until maybe like, I think it was 18 I was there. Yeah. Who was your age group? Um, we had Fabio Carvalho, yeah. Sebastian Jasper, Cody Jarme. Big players. Yeah, massive, yeah. <laughs> massive players. Um, John Pierre Thierry, Colin yeah. McAvoy, George Wickens, yeah. my boy George, man. Um, there's a lot of us, man. A lot of people that obviously filtered out, are still playing now, mm. but that, that, off the top of my head, that's all I can remember, really. Out of them, or out of who you can remember, who you would say was the best that you played with? In that group, I'll say, Fabio Carvalho still, yeah. and it speaks for itself man. Yeah. The guy is He's doing his thing now innit yeah man I'm saying happy for him man. always happy for him do you have any favourite coaches you had as well Dan Thomas at Fulham yeah. Yeah, Dan if you're watching this Dan Thomas at Fulham man shout out Dan yeah bro he, put, so good about him. he taught me everything I know like without yeah. him I don't think I even played the position I was playing. Mm-hmm. Fulham was trying to make me a centre back, innit? Like, Is it? Because of my height. Was you that tall back then? Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? I was a bit taller than everyone else. So okay. they tried to make me a centre back. But he knew that like, I'm too good on the ball to be playing centre back. Okay. So he put me in the six, but then he, he said no. Put Cam in the eight. In the eight. And from there, it was like, you can see my attack. What, box to box or? Yeah, 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 yeah defensive. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. More time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Box to box. So obviously, you grew up there, went to school with everyone in, uh, in the academy and everything. Yeah. Then you end up eventually got released. I never actually got released. You never got released? No. That's a, that's, what happened? That's a story within itself to you, man. Okay. So, but yeah, I left Fulham. Left Fulham? Left Fulham at After 17. Fulham, you went to? Blackpool. Blackpool? Yeah. That's where we that's obviously where met. That's where we met, innit? Yeah. So yeah, went to Blackpool. And yeah. Blackpool was like, for me, to be fair, when I left Fulham, it was like a long process, innit? So I left them during my first year school and my second year school. Okay. Um, so obviously, yeah, so obviously when Blackpool came about, in that period of time when I left Fulham, I was ready to quit football. Okay. I was ready to stop it, innit? I remember getting a call from Danny Venture, innit? Yeah. I was at the petrol station near my house and just, yeah. said, just come in and see if you like it. Yeah. But I was like, I'm just, I, don't, I don't care about football like that. Back yeah. then, innit? I was like, I was done. I said, you know what, last chance kind of thing. Yeah. Came to Blackpool and, you know what I'm saying, I'm here now. So, yeah, yeah. enjoyed it. I can't lie to you, man. That was a... How was it, obviously, moving away from home? You lot made it easier, you know what yeah. I'm saying? The group we had made it a lot easier, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> No, it's me, man. Put on a tropical beat. Put on a tropical beat. I've got a stop, fam. Put on a tropical beat. Bang the ting, let the bug. Step on the street, take a shot. Yeah, I'm going very far. Yeah, yeah. I feel the love. Wind up on the He's far from making it floppy. You know she's giving me the toppy. You know that she's giving the good sloppy. I don't want to hear the cocky. You know that I get one there and it's poppy. You know that I get one there and you know I'm rough. They're around here with my bros, them. Bros, them. All they wanna see is the racks, them. Got Kelly on me in a drop top. Cause she know that we make all that fucking guap. He said that we make any glop. <laughs> 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 Do you know what I'm saying? That group we had made it a lot easier, so like, mm-hmm. 
there's even times where I wouldn't go home to London, I'd stay in Blackpool. Stay, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Having nah, fun with the man. Proper good group at, at Blackpool. Bro, so funny, man. So obviously, you said we made it easier as a group, but eventually, lockdown, COVID time, yeah, yeah, yeah. everyone gets let go. Yeah. You stay on. Yeah. Get your first professional contract. Yeah. How was that feeling? It was good, you know. Yeah. Like, um, obviously getting a professional contract is what I was working for, um, towards like, mm. my whole career and then obviously knowing that I'm going to join the first team now at such a young age mm. I was looking forward to it to be fair you know what I'm saying uh, yeah it was a good feeling yeah. and, and feeling. then eventually you made your debut as well what was that like? no obviously when I found out I was going to make my debut I was over the moon because mm. realistically I made my debut in my second year pro okay. so obviously I had a whole year didn't play as much as I, as I would have liked to mm-hmm. or should have so then when this chance came I was like yes like, finally kind of thing mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? I look back at it with regret though. I don't think I've done as well as I should have. Okay. I feel like I played within myself. Like yeah. If you compare that debut to my debut at Cardiff, okay. you can see the difference and I only played 10 minutes. We'll get on to Cardiff. Yeah. Sorry, we'll get sorry. on to that. Jumping ahead, mate. Jumping sorry, ahead. sorry. But I did want to speak about the jump from playing academy football yeah. to first team football. Yeah. How do you feel like you tra- transitioned with that? It was good. Yeah. Like, do you know what I, didn't, I didn't find it hard okay. like, in terms of ball playing. That was quite easy to me. Yeah. It was the fact that of like, Things are on the line now, do you know what I'm yeah. saying? These guys are fighting for food for their kids yeah. or mortgages or new yeah. contracts, do you know what I'm saying? That's what became, oh crap, like, this is actually kind of hard. Like, yeah. People are actually dying to get in the squad because yeah. they want bonus or whatever, do you yeah. know what I'm saying? So that's what I found hard. That the switch of like, this is now means something, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is for something, not just playing 18s, just yeah. to play 18s, do you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, I thought the switch was good. I enjoyed it, man. And the boys that we had in the first team made it a lot easier for me. Who's probably the best team you played against? Playing for Blackpool, did you play against Liverpool? I played against Liverpool, yeah, yeah but I'd say the best team to play against was City. City. Yeah. Were you what, in the middle? Yeah, I was in the middle. Who was you playing against? Gondogan, Bernardo Silva and Fernandinho. Yeah, crazy. Field. Yeah, Big playing touch the ball like that. Is it? Yeah, men running around. Running around, blowing, heart coming out my chest from my life. That showed me the levels though. Yeah. Like, their, their level, that like World Cup, Champions League, Premier League level, is different, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, it's different. The way they play, even though it's a preseason game, they're popping the ball like this is Prem, do you know what I'm saying? So yeah, it opened up my eyes to that. Wow, yeah. like, you have to be levels to get there. So yeah, it was a good, a good experience though. And obviously your time at Blackpool, would you say you played as much as you wanted to? Um, nah, nowhere near as much as I wanted to, to be fair. Yeah. But I felt like I should have. Yeah. Obviously, I'm, you can't look back and say, oh, I should have done this, I should have done that. Yeah. In short, nah, I don't think I should have. Yeah. I should have played a lot more, but obviously, I'm still grateful to be where I am. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I've still got people to prove wrong. So yeah, I'm just going to yeah. keep going, basically. So obviously now you're at Cardiff. Yeah. How was that again, picking up, moving away from home? into a new city, new country. Um, what was that like for you? It was easier. It was yeah. much easier than Blackpool to be fair. Because like, You've already I've, got the experience I've done it, in here. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So moving to Cardiff was much easier. What are the lads like over there? Yeah, good man. Good as good, well. How are you settling? Yeah, funny yeah. man. I can't lie. Obviously I um, moved over there and then obviously I know Zav in it. Zav yeah. Benjamin. I lived with Zav for two years. Yeah. How long have you been at Cardiff now? Two years. Two years, okay. So obviously I was living with Zav, so that was easy. I knew Zav since I was a kid. Oh, so you knew each other before? Yeah, he was at Fulham, innit? Okay, so fair, we knew each other fair. from there. So yeah, it was much easier. The transition was quite easy to, okay. to be Cardiff in because I would have done it at Blackpool. In your professional career so far, mm-hmm. what would you say have been the hardest things you've had to go through and deal with? Um, two, so not playing at Blackpool. Yeah. Not playing as much as I should have. I feel like that whole process was like mentally draining for me because mm-hmm. like, I felt like I should have been playing, or mm-hmm. given a chance at least, but um, yeah, not getting to do so mm-hmm. was quite tough. So like, as a player, stuff you just want to play. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, so obviously, I was young as well. Yeah. And it's like where teammates are telling me that, oh, you should you can play in this game or you should be playing this game. It's like it's thick. So I'd rather, I'd rather be told like you're not good enough. Okay. You know what I'm saying because then I know you get told why you weren't playing or there's never like anything realistically told to me. It's just like you know you're not ready yet, kind of thing. Mm. Always, but it's like how can I show that I'm ready? Like I was just always trying to uh, do Proof, better to yeah. prove, but you know, it just never, never never came to fruition. But I'll say. Other than that, my injury at Cardiff, yeah. um, I was doing so well mm-hmm. in the season. And then obviously, end of the season, I got injured. I done my PCL and MCL on my left leg, and then my MCL on my right leg at the same time. That's tough to deal with, uh, bro. Tough. Such an early on in your career as well. Do you know what I'm saying. So when that happened, it was like things were happening. So like this season right now would have been alone. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? I would have had how many games in my belt? I don't know X Y Z. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's just like it just slowed things down. That's why I was more angry. I wasn't angry that it happened. I was just angry because it was like it's slowing things down yeah. in my career, but. You know what I'm saying? It made me grow as a person mentally, stronger. Um, made me grow as a person yeah, mentally, sorry, sorry. physically. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I had to go through it. And I felt like at time, I had to go through something big like that. So, yeah. To become who you are now. Yeah, exactly. Obviously, having dealt with some adversity in your career so far, yeah. what's the best piece of advice you give to footballers still playing, trying to make it get through a tough time? Um, well, as a Christian, the best advice I've been given personally was from my mom. It was um, for you to throw away God's gift. You know what I'm saying? So, like, don't stop. 
that God's given you this talent, this gift. So just keep going. And then obviously, the words keep going. I've got a three-way GC with um, Fab and Ant, I'm saying close, close friends of mine. Um, we're always putting in different stuff in the chat, you know what I'm saying, talking about different stuff, but motivationally, we're always telling each other, just keep going. Mm -hmm. like, you never know what's on the other side of the barrier, other side of the door. So mm -hmm. like, why stop now when you know you could be so close to your greatness or your success? So you just have to keep going, bro. You never know what's going to come to you in life, and life's too short as well, to just stop. So mm -hmm. that's my advice for anyone that's going through any tough times. Wise words, mate. Cheers, bro. Great piece of advice. Well, obviously, honestly, thank you for coming through, bro. It's been a pleasure, like always. Mm. Guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more videos. And as usual, I've been your boy AK, and I'm out. Love.